Have you ever trained a duck? No? Edward has. It all started back at his family farm in rural Tennessee. It's the Great Depression, and young Edward works at a hotel in Memphis with his father during the week. When he found this little duck in his yard on the weekend when he was home, he decided to bring it with him to the hotel. The main problem with this is that Edward and his father's boss, Mr. Shutt, is demanding and strict with no time for games like having a duck in his hotel. The staff promises to keep the duck a secret from Mr. Shutt, but Edward comes into some close calls. After Mr. Shutt left one day, Edward turned on some John Philip Sousa March music. Watch, Edward said to the staff. All I have to do is tap this stick on the floor and he'll do what I taught him to do. Edward tapped twice and the little duck turned around and around. Three taps and the duck marched up and down the lobby hall. Four taps and the little duck stood at s as still as a statue. Edward tapped out a pattern and the little duck hopped right into the lobby fountain. Amazing, everyone exclaimed. He marches as proper as John Philip Sousa himself, someone said. Edward stopped. That's it! That'll be his name! John Philip Duck! Everyone laughed. The rest of the story follows Edward as he continues to train John Philip Duck in the lobby fountain at the hotel and attempts to keep John Philip Duck hidden from Mr. Shutt's sight. When the moment arrives that Mr. Shutt realizes what's going on, it's up to Edward to prove to him just how valuable John Philip Duck is. John Philip Duck is the captivating fictionalized story of the real-life Edward Pembroke who really did train ducks to strut through the lobby of the Peabody Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee. Patricia Polacco uses her gift of storytelling and beautiful artwork to create another children's classic in John Philip Duck. <laughs>